Let's have a look at the concept of de-recognition. So when would you de-recognize an item of PPE? De-recognition simply means removing something from your financial records. So when would we be required to remove an item of PPE from our financial records? IS 16 tells us that that would happen in one of two instances. So that could either be what they refer to as a disposal or when there are no future economic benefits expected from that asset. So a disposal would simply be a sale of an item of PPE. If you have a piece of land which you no longer wish to use and you sell it onto another party, that would be an instance of a disposal arising and you would need to de-recognize that piece of land. Another example would be when there are no longer any future economic benefits expected either from the use or through sale. So in what instance might you have an item of PPE that no longer has any form of value in it? That, for example, might be if you have a piece of equipment that is destroyed in a fire, the value of that asset, if completely destroyed, would be zero. And as a result, you would need to de-recognize, remove that asset from your financial statements. The standard also tells us how we go about determining any gain or loss that would be recognized on this de-recognition event. So either on a disposal or on an event that may take place, which means that the asset would no longer hold any value, you would need to determine a gain or loss, which would be the difference between the carrying amount of that asset and what we determine to be our proceeds on disposal. So for example, if you have an asset with a carrying amount of 100 and you sell it for, I'm sorry, carrying amount of 80 and you sell it for 100, that means that you would have a profit of 20 arising on the de-recognition, the de-recognition in this example being a disposal. Or you might have an instance where the um, asset had a carrying amount of 80 and um, it was completely destroyed in a fire, in which case that means that your proceeds would have been zero, your carrying amount would have been 80, and you would land up with a loss of 80 in your financial records. Very importantly, that this profit or loss is not presented as part of revenue in your income statement. So it will not sit in that top line either as revenue or revenue from contracts from customers. It needs to be sitting in what would be your operating activities as a gain or loss on sale or on de-recognition um, of that asset. Just looking at the basic journal entries, what would they look like? If we go back to our previous example, let's say that um, we had an item of equipment that originally cost 150 Rand. We've recognized accumulated depreciation of 70, which means that we were left with a carrying amount of 80. However, that asset then is subsequently sold. The proceeds or the net proceeds that we receive are 100. Compare that to our carrying amount of 80, which means we have a profit on de-recognition, in this instance disposal of 20. Now very importantly when you process these journal entries, you have to reverse the cost and the accumulated depreciation because even though in the statement of financial position we might be showing the carrying amount, in other words the net of the cost and the accumulated depreciation, in our financial records or in our ledger accounts we track the depreciation separately from the cost. So if we go and reverse the original cost, which was 150, we would credit our PPE, our cost of 150. We would debit our accumulated depreciation, reversing our accumulated depreciation, which just brings the balances for that asset in that ledger account back to naught. We can see that is uh, the net of this is a carrying amount of 80. If we received as in my example, 
total of 100 for um, proceeds as either a receivable or bank. The difference between the one at uh, the 100 and the 80 in our instance would be a gain of 20, so it certainly would be a credit. Just noting that that would not be in that top line item. It is not revenue as defined in terms of IFRS 15. This is not something that you are selling in your ordinary course of business. Um, in which case that would probably be treated as inventory, which is not what we are dealing with here. We are not trading in equipment. We are not selling equipment. It is something that we were using in um, the production or supply of goods or services. And as a result of us choosing to sell it, we would de-recognize it and recognize a gain or loss. Mm -hmm.